Здравствуйте, это College Russian. Меня зовут Дженни, по-русски Жанна. And in today's lesson for beginning Russian, we're going to be talking about adjectives, um, how they change for gender, and then also the word for which or to ask what kind of something. So if you look over here at this movie, you'll notice that these all have adjective endings because свадьба, wedding, is a feminine. So sure enough, there are feminine endings all anything that is describing that noun. So, um, identifying gender in adjectives. The thing you're gonna notice is they all have sort of a two-letter combination on the end. You're looking for these two letters. Once you start putting things into cases, sometimes you'll get three letters, but you're looking for these endings. So, how to know if it's a masculine? And a masculine has three possible variations. Ой и и. So, for example, большой. This would be to describe a noun that is masculine. Uh, Bieli, синий, and krasny. So when might you use a masculine? For example, balshoy dom. Okay, so the noun calls the shots in Russian. Um, the noun tells you what gender everything else needs to be. So you could put 10 adjectives in front of the word dom, and if they're all describing the dom or the house, every single one of those 10 adjectives would need to be masculine. Um, the next one are the feminines. Again, we're gonna have two letter endings here. Uh, a ya and ya ya. So what I want you to notice is these are different than nouns in that they have this two letter combination on the end. A lot of times students will start to confuse the nouns and the adjectives. First of all, an adjective is anything that's describing something else and then the way you can kind of identify when you're getting an adjective in Russian are these two letter endings on the end. So if you're going to be describe something, describing something that's feminine and you wanna use this same word, then you need to Turn it into a feminine. Большая, белая, синяя, красная. So in context, you might say something like у меня большая сумка. And real quick, the masculine is what you will get when you look it up in a dictionary. Sorry, we live in a sexist world. The masculine is considered the basic form. And then it's up to you to know these other genders to be able to change it. So you'll take off the last two letters and replace it with the whatever two letters for whatever gender you're wanting to say. Next is neuter. French and Spanish don't have this gender. Russian has a neuter gender. And these you can notice by the oy and the ye ye on the end. So by the ye, biela ye, and if you're interested to know why we're getting ye ye sometimes and oye, you can look up my video on hard and soft consonants and that will sort of um, help you to understand why sometimes you get the ye ye and the oye. So for example, palto is neuter, so we need to describe it with a neuter adjective. Bielaya palto. Next, plurals have a iye and an iye ending. Just a real quick note, sometimes you'll see iye on the end of a word that's a noun. Um, for, exa for example, zadanie, um, zanyatie, and things like that. Now, as you learn Russian, you'll be able to better tell what's an adjective and what's a noun. So just a little warning right there. Balshiye, bielye, sinye, krasnye, в контексте, Senior jeansy. All right. So the next word that you need is the word to um, say which or what kind of. And as you'll notice, there are four forms, and you can probably guess that this it needs to change for gender. So kakoi is how you'd ask about something masculine. Kakaya, kakoi, kakia. So imagine a little dialogue, just used, uh, use, using what we've learned in last lesson and then today's lesson. Um, how would you ask your friend if they have a car? Remember to ask somebody if they have something, you need to use correct intonation. Then they say they do have it and you're gonna say, oh really, what kind? And then you ask if their car is new. So the big thing here is you need to know the word for car and you need to know what gender it is. That's going to determine all of these other words that you're gonna use. Okay, so take a minute to think how you might ask that little dialogue. So, 
У тебя есть машина? Да. Какая? Маленькая корейская. Твоя машина новая? Да. Okay, so notice all these adjectives in here. So which kind is feminine? Because машина is feminine. So then this needs to be feminine. Маленькая корейская, a little Korean car. Those are all going to be feminine because we're talking about the car, which is feminine. And then novaya is also feminine. Oh, and then tvaya is also feminine. All right. So we're going to take and get some speaking practice in here. And I want you to, I'm going to show you some pictures. And I want you to try describing it. So I will give you some little prompts to kind of help you figure out what your adjectives should be. So, это какой дом? Как вы думаете? Это черный дом или белый дом? Это русский дом или американский дом? Это старый дом или новый дом? Это маленький дом или большой? Так, so the way, all the ways you might have described that is белый, американский, большой, старый, хороший. Хотя Дональд Трамп думает, что это не хороший дом. И он думает, что это не большой дом. Интересный факт. Окей, okay, следующее. Что это? Это книга. Хм, какая книга? Это маленькая книга или большая? Это американская книга или русская книга? Это интересная книга или неинтересная книга? So some ideas of adjectives you might have used to describe it is Это русская книга, хорошая книга, старая книга, интересная, большая, красная. Um, okay, so now we're going to practice using the word which or what kind. So now I want what I want you to do is ask what kinds of things Vladimir Putin has. So remember our word for he has is univo. So you're going to use what kind does he have. So tai galstuk, and it's masculine. So how would you say what kind of tai does he have? Kakui galstuk. У него есть. Or you might hear some variations in that. Какой у него галстук? Okay, so какой галстук у него есть? У него красный галстук. Ask what kind of glasses he has. So glasses are a plural. Очки in Russian. So how would you ask what kind of glasses does he have? Какие очки у него есть? У него есть mm, хорошие очки. Ask what kind of a suit he has. Suit is костюм. Да, костюм. So, какой костюм у него есть? У него есть синий, красивый костюм. Next, how would you ask what kind of a shirt he has? So, shirt is рубашка. Now, try asking... Oh, what kind of a shirt does he have? Какая у него рубашка? Или какая рубашка у него есть? У него есть голубая рубашка. Так, okay, so that's all four adjectives for today. Um, what I want you to do is pause the screen right here, and this is going to be your homework. In the comments below, I want you to correct this student's work. He's having a really hard time today with his adjectives um, and you'll notice that he is not making his adjectives agree or be the same gender and number as the nouns. So I want you to correct his mistakes now that you know how Russian adjectives work and put that down in the comments below. In our next video we will be making plur talking about making plurals and then also don't forget to that 
we have materials and handouts available on collegerussian.com. I have an entire worksheet for adjectives that you can find there. Uh, I, off I also offer online tutoring, so if anytime you want to go over your work or practice speaking, just send me an email at collegerussian at gmail.com or go to the website listed here. And then also, if you come over to Facebook, like us on Facebook, I have a little activity you can do for listening to a song in Russian and picking out all the nouns and the adjectives. And it's a really, really beautiful song that I highly recommend. Хорошо, это все, пока!